Hi, today we're out in the cow pasture. We're gonna test our new go box to see how it works. Stay tuned. Okay, here's the box. And uh, first off, of course, because they send a bunch of stickers, you gotta put them somewhere, right? But this is not a DX box, it's just their sticker. It's actually a, uh, that kind of box. All right, and it's got wheels <clears throat> on the bottom. It weighs about 50 pounds, so this is not for mountain climbing. This is just for keeping things portable and on the go and setting up at a picnic table. First off, I got an air intake vent here and a fan on the back outtake there. So let's open it up and take a look inside. So I can get it open. Okay, I got a place for my antenna, Wolf River coil antenna. This top piece comes off and it actually flips over so it makes a nice little table there and take that off and look at what's inside so basically i've got storage over here these are my uh my uh, radios and over here is actually where the radio is and tuner is located the air intake right there and it'll suck the air through this compartment cool air keep it cool and then out the back okay and then I've got some uh, cables in the back I got to hook up my jumpers here yet I got a uh, Anderson power pole distribution panel here where my battery will connect right in here and power everything up okay and uh, that's just an SLA battery I haven't got a LiPro uh, battery yet that's next I don't have a uh, LifePro uh, solar charge controller yet, so uh, that's why I haven't gone that route. That'll be an upgrade when I get a uh, charger for the solar panel. So in here is storage. Um, I got my book, log book. Basically cables, mic, anything you need. Got my antenna and an analyzer. We got an AC power supply down there in the bottom. So if I want to run off AC, I can. And uh, the actual, this is, this is an ICOM 7100. The radio is actually, the head is sitting right in there, protected, this slides out. And then you can pull the radio out. Okay, so that's about it on the inside. Let's go get some, uh, let's get on the air. Let's go. So I carry my solar charge controller part portable and I just put it in a battery box. So I keep my tools in here and stuff and uh, the charger is actually underneath all this so I got to pull it out. But And then I connect the solar panel to this and the cable over to my box to keep the battery charged. My antenna farm today consists of a ham stick MFJ dipole for 20 meters right now up 16 feet and I've also got a Wolf River coil right there with six 33 foot radials all the way around okay okay so on the ham stick the dipole ham stick I'm getting about a 1.8 and on the lower range it gets a little higher SWR and then as I get higher up the frequency it gets a little lower so I'll probably stay on the higher end when I'm on that rate on that antenna and so on the Wolf River coils I'm getting about a one and a half on the low side and the top end okay we got her all set up I got my jumper going to my Switcher here so I can switch between the Wolf River coil and the MFJ dipole. And I got my ICOM 7100. We're going to power it up, see if we hear anything. Oh, hey, what do you know? There's somebody out there. Okay, this is a setup. Let's go play radio. Okay, so I just got my solar panel into my charge controller. 
running up to keep my battery charged. And we got a little USB display up here. Running about 13.5 volts right now, which is good. Okay, so we're gonna be running we're gonna be running 10 watts. 10% and I did check uh, on a uh, watt meter that right my here, 10 right is here. 10. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the Utah SDR, send myself 10 watts, see what I'm measuring over here. I'm going to on the Wolf River Coil antenna right now, 10 watts. The noise is about S7, and I'm transmitting about an S7. Okay, I'm going to switch over to the hamstick dipole. Let's see what we got. Here we go. That's a little stronger signal. That's pushing it up past the S7. Yeah, about a half an S level. There we get about uh, just under S7. Okay, there's the MFJ dipole. Switch back to the Wolf River coil. Whoops. <laughs> I bumped myself off frequency with the mic. Uh, three, uh, there we go. I kind of hate these things sometimes. Okay, here we go. Wolf River coil. Here we go. Definitely not as strong. Go back to the hamstick. Definitely a lot stronger. So, it looks like right now the hamstick up there is outperforming the Wolf River coil on 10 watts. Interesting. I hadn't expected that. <laughs> okay. November 5, Indy Austin, Yankee. My name is Bob in El Paso, Fort Bliss, Texas. I'll take anyone I can hear from the Maritime Net. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima, Bravo, Portable QRP. There is somebody there, but you're very weak. Uh, try it again, please. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima, Bravo, Portable QRP. Okay, the QRP, the Kilo zero, zero Kilo, I think it is Lima Bravo. Give me your name, location, and call your traffic. QSL, K0, KLB, name is Kevin. I'm in Iowa, portable, and I have no traffic, over. All right, uh, Kevin in Iowa, portable. You got a, you know, you're right on, uh, I hear you with clean audio, and uh, you got a good signal being portable. Uh, uh, where are you at in Iowa exactly? I'm in North Iowa out in the cow pasture, over. All right, well, don't let those cows bother you. Kevin, is there anything I can do for you? Um, nope, just kind of wanted to make sure I was getting out here. My first call this morning, over. All right, sir, well, thank you for checking in, and uh, you're always welcome to the Maritime Net, okay? Roger, roger, thank you, and 7-3 with K0KLP. Anyone else for the Maritime Net? CQ, CQ. This is Kilo Zero. Kilo Lima Bravo operating QRP. Kilo Delta X-Ray coming in. Uh, Kilo Victor 7 Delta X-Ray. Kilo Victor 7 Delta X-Ray. Summit on the air in Northwest Washington. Roger. QSL, this is K0KLB. How read over. QSL, QSL, I got you about a 4-4, four, 4-4 four, four, four into the Iowa, QSL. Thank you very much for Iowa. Yeah, we're, uh, we're about uh, 50, 55 miles north of Seattle on a little 800-foot summit here. Thank you very much for the contact. Good luck. You bet. Thank you. I'm out in the cow pasture of Iowa, and uh, thank you I'm, I'm for the contact, 7-3. Roger, roger, the cow pasture. Have a great day. Enjoy. Kilo Victor 7, Delta X-ray, clear. K0 KLB clear. Hey, Washington on 10 watts. 
score. I'll try again a little later. I'll keep playing here a little bit, and uh, hopefully you can, uh, uh, maybe you'll hear me later if you check back in, over. Uh, yeah, yeah, that last transmission there came through uh, very intelligible. Uh, again, you're probably 4, 4, 4, 5, something like that. Um, but definitely you're right at the noise level, and I've got you, I've got you down to like uh, 24 kilohertz uh, on the bandpass filter, and I've got the RF gain way up, so I'm, I'm just barely picking you up on the peak. QSL, QSL, thank you. So all in all, it wasn't too bad today. I got a uh, couple calls. Uh, marine time net and I uh, got a soda from Washington and then Todd and I tried to QSO but it was just he couldn't hear me very well I caught him a few times he sounded pretty good and uh, that was about it so uh, I think I'm gonna head up back up to the house and get into the ham shack again <laughs> where I got some communications all right we'll see you later Bye.